Salutations! Gal here! Well, I guess in the Minecraft world, I am better known as Klein. Good day. Good day. Well, here we are on the Hatventure server, and, well, I've noticed a great many uh, new little Grey Listers having quite a bit of trouble negotiating the quest to whitelisting. So, I thought we'd uh, make a little tutorial. Well, okay, first thing... First thing when you log into the server, you're going to start right here. You'll meet the welcomer. Hello, welcomer. And just as it says, you click this guy. Just right-click him. He's not going to tell me anything. Oh, there he is. Here we go! Now you follow the road and chat with gold name NPCs, and they have important information. This part here says you're, oops, says that you're a black hat, which means you need to be verified. So you go to Rambling John and talk to him. Let's go talk to Rambling John. Shall we? Raining. Oh, they added a sign. That's easier. Well, here's Rambling John. Buddy. Hey, dude. And it tells you you need your verification code. So you have to go to the, the um, website and go to your profile and you'll find a verification code and you come back to this guy and you type that in. And then he sends you on your way and you just run and run and run and run and run until you get to the elevator guy. I'm not going to make you guys sit and watch me run all that way, so we'll be back when we get to the elevator guy. Good thing you have a full stack of bread. Okay, we are at the elevator. So, you uh, talk to that guy, and you go in here, and here we go, back to another part. But we are not at... Still gotta keep going. Gotta go to the station. Run, 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 run. <laughs> okay, here we are. We're at this guy. So you click him. He's probably gonna tell me I don't have any quest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, he does give me the quest. Uh, it tells you that the ticket master is missing. But there's no quest available because I've already done this. And he is going to give you a rose. So, you have to go find the Ticketmaster. Where is the Ticketmaster? Well, he's all the way back, almost near the start. He's inside the great big clump of red wool that is a dragon. So, go all the way back till you get to the great big clump of red wool, almost at the start, and we'll meet you back. Let me get there. Okay. Here we go. I'm hungry. Hungry. <laughs> okay, so, um, we've got our rose, and we're supposed to find the Ticketmaster. Not incredibly intuitive as to where to find him, but he is in this big red thing, which I think is supposed to be a dragon. Now, how you get to him, another not incredibly intuitive thing to do. So we go this way. And you'll see there's some signs. Just follow the signs. But actually getting here in the first place can be a little tricky because you're not really sure where to go. Keep going. And you can see his little name tag. Whoop! And here he is, the Ticketmaster. Now you give him the rose, and he gives you another flower, which you get to take all the way back. Okay, so now we have our flower, and we'll take it all the way back. But you're like, how do I get out? Well, it's over here, I think. There's a hole in the floor. There it is. 
and you have to jump out here and here we go jump jump and then when you just follow the road all the way back to the train station and we'll be back when we get to the train station okay so we're almost back almost back Whew. and you give this guy the yellow flower <sighs> that the ticket master gave you <sighs> and he's going to give you he is going to give you a piece of paper and a sponge. It is going to tell you to go onto the train, which is over here. Ugh, I would have a snack. Okay. Oops. This is the train. And it'll take you to Haddington. And you have to have a ticket. So, okay, to put it in my hotbar. Okay, just to show you what happened before. Oops. If it is not in your hotbar, nothing is going to happen. So, I'm glad they did add that sign over there, I believe, because it tells you that this is not your ticket. The sponge is your ticket. So, we get on the train. To do. Okay, now don't worry, don't worry, it's it's Minecraft time, it's not actually three hours that you're going to have to wait. It's more like three minutes, but three minutes can be a long time. Like it says here, um, do not put a stack, only put one sponge in your hotbar at once, because it will take all of them. Also, do not jump around, because it'll kick you off the train, do not leave the train, or you're going to have to get a brand new ticket. So just stand perfectly still and wait for the time to tick by. Tick. Talk. Tick. Talk. Okay. Almost. It's almost time to leave. You stand in here, perfectly motionless. No jumping. Don't leave the train. Don't get too close to the windows. Those are all glitches that apparently some people have been lost their ticket because the, the system thinks you left the train. So don't. <laughs> We're almost ready. 12 seconds. Almost. The long 12 seconds. Oh, and here we are. Now, oh, well, that's the train that we just got off of. In case you want to go back to the, well, ever go back to the floating spawn for any reason. Um, now, remember it told you to go talk to the Haddington representative. Well, you click him with this piece of paper or nothing's gonna happen. Hey, buddy. So you click him. Click him with the paper. And he tells you to take the train to Jeffville. And that's where we go. Let's go to Jeffville. Destination Jeffville, the gray list zone. I prepared ahead. <laughs> Let's go, it's Jeffville. And now we w see how I took my sponge. And don't jump around. Don't get too close to the windows. Don't leave the train. And I'll see you in two and a half minutes. Okay. Okay, one minute to go. One more minute. Minecraft music. Almost time. Almost time. Waiting so patiently. Oh, Rudolph is here. And here we are. <coughs> In Jeffville. 
this is where you start. And I believe it told you to go to the tavern. So let's go to the tavern. This is the Jeffville train station. You'll need to know that where that is. Now the tavern is not labeled a tavern, but this is the tavern. So we come in here, and I believe you're supposed to talk to Gerald. Hey there, Indy. Indy, stop pushing my microphone. <laughs> and you talk to him. Okay, now, I think it's either the Haddington representative or this guy, but after clicking one or the other, you will notice that your name has gone from a different shade of gray, because now you are a gray lister, or gray hat, or although everyone just calls them gray listers now. And he's, this guy will tell you to uh, do the NPC quests. The first one you should probably do, because it's just right here, is we go talk to the bartender. The people with the green names are quest givers. So you talk to the bartender. Hey, bartender Bob. Hey. No quests available. That's okay. I planned ahead. Okay, now Bob's going to give you some cookies. I just have one. We're going to pretend. And he's going to tell you to go talk to the janitors. Well, you're like, hmm, where are the janitors? Oh, I see them. Down there. How do I get to them? Well, it's not incredibly intuitive. But, to get to the janitors, you come into the bathroom, and you jump down a toilet. Yeah, I know. Poor janitors. They, they're hanging out in the sewer. But, yeah, that's what you gotta do. So, we jump down a toilet, come down here, through the sewer system. Tra -la -la. And here's our first janitor. Yay, hey janitor Joe. Well, we click on janitor Joe with our cookie. And he's going to give you a bottle. Because if you remember, you're supposed to collect bottles from the janitors in this quest. Well, let's go find the rest of the janitors. Okay. <coughs> I was still supposed to have some cookies left. So, we go find our other janitors. I can't remember how many you're supposed to find. The next one is here. Talk to him. He'll give you a bottle. Oh, watch where you're going, Indy. That's the tower. Don't knock the computer tower over. And here's another janitor. Talk to him. Now, you're like... Oh my god, where are the rest of the janitors? How do I get to them? Oh no! Well, you go to this vine over here and climb up it. Woo! Whoop! And look! Janitor Jeff. So you talk to him, give him a cookie, he'll give you a bottle. And we follow the path. Talk to this guy. He'll give you another bottle. I think there's one more janitor. Or maybe that's the last one. I can't remember. So... Run, run, running. Need to work on this sewer system. It's kind of leaky. Do, do, do. Ouch. Eek. Ouch. Go up to that. Okay, yeah, that was the last one. Maybe. <laughs> yep. Okay, now hop over here to escape. No, it's over here. <laughs> Sorry. Hop over this way to escape. And we have to go back to the tavern, which is over here. Yes. Okay. It's this way. Oops. That was scary. Okay, we've got our bottles that we collected. We go back to the bartender. Bartender Bob, I got your bottles. Do, 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 do. And you click him with a bottle. Oops. <laughs> and he's gonna say something like boohoo, and, and you're going to get a point. Now, to check your points, you type in. Don't do the dot.
and type in that and it's going to tell you how many quest points you have. Why this is important is that the whitelisting process includes both quest points and social points or votes. Um, a social vote comes from a whitelister, a mod, or an admin. And of course the quest ones are quest ones. Okay, so when you check your, your hat status, um, you'll notice that there are some minimum requirements and there is a total number that you need. So you need a minimum number of social votes and then a minimum number of quests and the remaining points can either be from quest or votes. It doesn't matter as long as you have the minimum number of social votes and the minimum number of quest votes the others points can be gathered whichever way. Okay, so this guy's quest is done. Let's go do the other quest in the gray spawn. There is another one right out here. Lou, Lieutenant, Lieutenant. Click him, and he is going to give you some paper, and he's going to tell you to go talk to the police. Well, the police are down across the subway. Uh, I know, I'm not sure why that the police station is in a subway, across the subway. It seems kind of hazardous, but hey, let's, um, let's go down here, talk to the police officers. You're like, oh my god, where are the police officers? Well, you have to cross the subway tracks. Watch out for that third rail. <laughs> hey, here we go. Police officers. This is pretty much where you're going to find the rules. So I'm just going to hover on this for a minute. Give everybody a chance to read them. Okay, so click him with a paper. And we got a dude with all the other pieces of paper. To come down here, our next cop. Click him. Just click everybody. Just click everybody. Click everybody. And click this guy. And now he's going to tell you to go back to the lieutenant. But you can't turn around and go back the way you came. No. You have to go this way and answer some more questions. Let's go answer them. Thank you. Oh, glitch the door. Glitch the door. Yay, lag. Okay. So here's the first one. Question one. You see someone griefing your house. What should you do? Um, you kill them and take their possessions. You contact a mod or send for a support request. You grief their building in return, eye for an eye. Okay, so to get out, once you click the answer. Oh, yes, they have increased the delay on the door. Because, boy, that door was freaking fast when I did this. You had to click it and run, and you would still get clipped by the piston door. <laughs> Here we go. Click. Okay, yeah, it still got me. Okay. Run, run, run. Go, 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 go! <sighs> Next question. Glitch your door. Glitch your door. Click! Click and click! I'm not going to make you answer all these, but uh, when I get to the last question, I'll be back. Get the kid, get the Let me out. Throw it like freaking dude. Woof, I made it. Oh, I made it. Oops. Okay, so now we've answered all the questions and we went to the last door. Now we climb up the ladder to freedom and to turn our quest in. Yay! Now we got to go back and find Lieutenant. He's back here. 
and you just click on it with the papers and that quest is over and you've got one more point hey Lieutenant Lou click 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 yeah yeah woo okay the next quest is and you can only take one quest at a time so you can't just uh, click on these guys and stack quests you can only take one quest at a time go to Robin and this NPC is going to tell you to go to talk to um, this guy I don't remember his name but he's right up here you have to go upstairs in the tavern to talk to him let's go Minecraft music. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's hands off. That's it. Okay, so we go talk to him. Up, 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 up. Go talk to hands. Hans. Clickety clickety click. Talk to you, and he's gonna tell you to go find the locksmith. It's north of the village. There's several ways to figure out which way is north. You can type in slash compass and it will tell you which way you're facing. You can look at the sun or the moon if it's not raining, but I'm just going to help you out. And north is this way. Here we go. Oh, look. Little world hole. I mean lag. Yay, lag. So come up here. Good day. Good day, Wheatley. And go in here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Talk to this guy. Now he's going to make you click on all these chests. Then he's going to send you back to Hans. So let's go back and talk to Hans. In the tavern. Okay, so here we are back at Hans. And of course you can't click the chest because it's locked. So you click on him after it won't let you in the chest. And he... He is going to give you this glistening melon. Then tell you to take it back to Robin. So let's go do that. Okay, so here we are back at Robin. And you give Robin the melon. And Robin will give you a sponge. Now Robin doesn't tell you what to do next. But what you're supposed to do is now go to the kingdoms and do the quests that you get from the kingdoms. Which you need a sponge to get to the kingdoms. Let's go! Okay, so to get to the kingdoms, first we have to get to Haddington. Here's the tavern where most where our first quest was. It's not labeled the tavern, but that's what it is. And to get to Haddington, you have to go back to the train station. Now if you have lost your sponge, this is the only free sponge you get. So, oh hold on. Good day. Good day, AFK person. Okay, so, oh, they've added this. Yay. This is where you buy sponges. All you do is click the sponge. See, I bought another sponge for two quid. Glad they added this guy, because before it was just the little block with a sponge floating on it. And a lot of people were like, how do I get a sponge? I don't have a sponge. Okay, now see how my sponges are stacked? Well, you do not want to go onto the train. This is the train to Haddington. With your sponges stacked. It's bad. It'll take both of them. Only one sponge. And then you enter the train. But I'm not going to waste a sponge... I'm going to go to spawn, but I'll meet you back at the train station. Okay. Okay, so I'm fairly sure this is where you spawn, and we want to go to the kingdoms. To get to the kingdoms, we have to go to the second floor of the train station, which doesn't really tell you to do this. You've got to figure this out on your own, or you could watch this video. <laughs> These stairs to the train stations are on the back wall. We have to go upstairs to a train. Do, 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 do. Upstairs to the trains. Do, do, do. Up, 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 up. 
And here are the trains. You need one ticket in hand. This train takes you to the Nordic. This train takes you to Oriental. And now be careful that you're not holding the sponge. And we'll show you where the Arabic train is. If you cross through while holding the sponge, it will take the sponge and send you to the Oriental Kingdom. This is the Arabic train. It's sandstone. Well, you pay your fare, and you go to a kingdom, and you meet with the NPCs, and get your quests. Okay, the two quests for the Nordic Kingdom are four stacks of wood and four stacks of coal. Now, you can substitute charcoal for coal, or, or a, a variety of them, in case you are having trouble finding four stacks of coal. You can use charcoal. You can only take one quest at a time. And every time you go to a kingdom, it's going to cost you a sponge. So I suggest going ahead and getting your wood and getting all your coal and then going to turn the both quests in at the same time. Now you don't have to take the train all the way back to Jeffville. You can just hit slash spawn and it will take you back to the gray list spawn so that you can get your materials because you, while you get the quests in the whitelist world you can't destroy any blocks in the whitelist world you have to go back to the graylist world okay the oriental quests are a stack of squid ink and a stack of lapis I would also suggest collecting both these items before going to the Oriental Kingdom so that you don't have to spend too much money on tickets. The Arabian Quests is a half a stack of gold and five diamonds. So go ahead and collect that and then you can go to the Arabian Kingdom. Of course you can't just collect everything at once. And then go turn in your quests because like I said you can only take one quest at a time and if you keep going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, you're going to spend an awful lot of money on sponges. Also, don't forget to use slash spawn. Okay, the two quests for the Nordic Kingdom are four stacks of wood and four stacks of coal. Now, you can substitute charcoal for coal, or, or a, a variety of them, in case you are having trouble finding four stacks of coal. You can use charcoal. You can only take one quest at a time. And every time you go to a kingdom, it's going to cost you a sponge. So I suggest going ahead and getting your wood and getting all your coal and then going to turn the both quests in at the same time. Now you don't have to take the train all the way back to Jeffville. You can just hit slash spawn and it will take you back to the gray list spawn so that you can get your materials because you while you get the quests in the whitelist world you can't destroy any blocks in the whitelist world you have to go back to the graylist world okay the oriental quests are a stack of squid ink and a stack of lapis I would also suggest collecting both these items before going to the Oriental Kingdom so that you don't have to spend too much money on tickets. The Arabian Quests is a half a stack of gold and five diamonds. So go ahead and collect that and then you can go to the Arabian Kingdom. Of course you can't just collect everything at once. And then go turn in your quests because like I said you can only take one quest at a time and if you keep going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, you're going to spend an awful lot of money on sponges. Also, don't forget to use slash spawn so that you don't have to go all the way back to, um, so you don't have to go all the way back via train and waste sponges. Well, I hope this guide has been helpful. Good day and happy gaming! Oof, home. Finally home. Oof. And it's nighttime. Aww.
Oh well. Why does the moon set? Door black Get door get get Okay, okay, okay. Come on, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, out. Ugh. Fred, Fred. Let me out. Do friggin' door lag. Good lord. Now, when you check your hat status, it's going to tell you, I think you need a total of, yeah, well, stupid lag, give it, fight him, oh, that hit me. So, oops. <laughs> 